talking about that street and London also is, you know, house prices just mm. sort of shooting up compared with, with else, else, elsewhere. Do you think um, th that chemistry, that mix of people, is peculiar to, to London or do you find it elsewhere? I, I, well, I find it in most cities. You might not find... I don't know that you find the extremes of wealth living by extremes of poverty, cheek by jowl, in quite such a kind of concentrated way. But I would hope, because obviously you want everybody to love this drama, you would hope that the way into it is actually, you know, that we, we find ourselves talking to our neighbours when something's gone wrong, usually not when something's gone right. How difficult was this to adapt, though? Because the book is... A lot of it is internal, isn't it? Yeah. So how on earth do you even start with that? Well, that, that was the big challenge, and a lot of the humour is internal as well, the contrast between what people are thinking and what they're actually saying. But what John had created was this template of great characters, so it was just kind of digging into them and, and, and capturing the vernacular, hopefully. It was slightly depressing when I'd agreed to do it when I reread the book and realised that's what I'd done. Because before, <laughs> previously to this, I'd adapted Wuthering Heights, and that's all dialogue, so that's just <laughs> typing, really. In, um, in, in this course, you're married to, to Toby Jones, the character. Mm -hmm. In Detectorists, you're married to Mackenzie Crook. And I'm you a play, slut. You're a, no, but you're a <laughs> lovely, lovely wife in Detectorists. Yes. So, which is close to the real Rachel Sterling? <laughs> somewhere in between the two. I've got a, I've got a pterodactyl in, buried away in me somewhere, and I can't be nice. <laughs> OK. But, no, it was a joy to play with those two boys. I don't actually have any scenes with Toby in this series of Detectorists, mm. which is good, cos that would have been quite confusing. Yeah. <laughs> but you work so well together, even in just that little clip we just saw there, and that, that dynamic is lovely between you. Yeah, I think that's familiarity, as well as him... Just being a, an amazing actor, he makes you up your ante and makes you better. Because you do that thing really well where you kind of think, oh, these two are never going to get on, but actually you've been together a long time yeah. and are quite solid in a way. There's love there. I think we, we decided quite early on with Eros, our fantastic director, that there had to be love there. There had to be something redeeming. Before it became all about materialism and capitalism and want, want, mm. want, there had to be something that brought these two people together. We decided they probably had quite a fragrant time in bed. <laughs> <laughs> When did you decide that? <laughs> I you decide went in that. That's probably a good point at which to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you both. Thank you very much. Thank Capital you. is uh, tonight, BBC One no, at night. No, next Tuesday. Next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> next Tuesday. Tuesday. Thanks so much.